Hello everybody, this is Richard Stashy from Tanker to Tales. And me. And today I'm going to be talking about a new shiny video. <laughs> a short shiny video too. Uh, a question, right? Yes, it's going to be a question. Um, I'm going to be talking about the time card machine that's seen in the uh, Overlook Hotel. Mm -hmm. Two times. In two places. In two places, yeah. Two times in two places. And this intro that I'm using is a uh, is from the movie uh, that I'm showing is from uh, Three Women from 1977. Uh, Shelley DeBell is in it, and this is the movie that um, land her the role to play Wendy for The Shining. <laughs> I'm circling the area where you see the time card machine. It's like right behind Halloran and it opens up the freezer door. This is the first time we actually see parts of it. It's just the time card cards, right? Yeah, it's the time card slots. It's okay. it comes it's a very quick scene. Basically you see a flash of it and it shuts the door. And this is also the very odd scene when they're walking down to the hallway because he's Opening up the door on one side of the hallway and definitely um, close the door on the other side. So. And this is after he closes the door of the freezer. He's talking to Wendy and Danny. And right over here at the far mm -hmm. corner is the uh, time card machine. Um, also known as a punch card machine. Mm -hmm. And this is the second location where the time card machine is in the Overlook Hotel. Um, this is the hallway. And I believe it's very close to the kitchen area. I don't know. <laughs> I need proof of that. <laughs> uh, I, I know, but what, what I want to know is why is there two time card machines or two operating time card machines in the Overlook Hotel in two different locations, especially when the hotel closes half the year. Well, I told you that if they're not right next to each other, it makes sense because no one wants to be on the clock walking to a time card machine if they're on two different sides of the hotel. But it's they're in the they're kind of in the same area. This I don't is... I don't believe that. <laughs> <laughs> maybe maybe this I don't know maybe, maybe. This, is this one of the corridors they're walking no they're not walking down this corridor in the beginning are they um I think they do I remember there's a lot of stuff like piled up in it though but like, I think it's shown in a different location different different um I would position. be I I would assume that these are in two different places not close to each other because then it would make sense that there's two time card machines but I don't even know why you think they're significant to begin with <laughs> well, <I see. laughs> there's 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 a there's uh it's tricky <laughs> definitely I, I would like to I would like to have people uh um, post some comments there, especially those that are familiar with uh, factories or uh, workplaces that requires a time card machine or actually uh, been involved with a time card machine. Because I don't. Oh, like someone that works in HR, maybe? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but someone that has the old punch mm -hmm. style time card. Because the, the modern time card machines are not like this. No, they're not. A matter. They're not that different, though, from what they are understand but they're no they're not really digital. yeah they're digital but um some don't even require a punch card they just yeah oh, yeah you open up your computer tablets. yeah tablets you open up your computer they, they pretty much know you're at work mm -hmm. um but this is kind of like significant at the time because they wanted to make sure that you're being clocked for the fullest of the amount of work 
Yeah. That you should get paid for. <laughs> but the but the thing is, like, I could not find any set rules like this says like if you have like 200 employees you must have at least two time card machines or a time card machine is required in the kitchen area and a time card machine is required in the uh, staff area in a hotel I have not found any regulations saying anything like that so that's why I would like to post a, a question to see if anyone happened to know anything about it that please why are there time card machines and why are they featured so prominently in these shots? Yeah. Especially because it seems like they might be planted there, right? Yeah. And I also have a, a sneaky suspicion of something else, too. Mm -hmm. Now, there's actually a third time card machine in the movie The Shining. Um, this happens to be in the Durkin's garage or service station. Okay. Durkin's service station. This is the one where Halloran ends up ordering the cat to uh, come to the rescue. Now, I had a hard time finding this uh, third um, time card machine and uh, Delta Builder actually helped me out in finding this one. Mm -hmm. He uh, Maybe he can tell you how far the other ones are from each other. <laughs> um, he probably could. I haven't really asked him on this part. But based on the scale of the Overlook Hotel as we seen from the overall overall shot and I'll probably include it in the in a partial scene sometime um, it doesn't seem far away it's not like you're walking two blocks away I don't know I, I just I know that they like to if there's like if a building is large or a space is large they like to have them at each entrance where the work is being done so if there's a different entrance and it's potentially farther or maybe even blocked off, maybe the kitchen area is blocked off from that other corridor for part of the day and it's only accessible from another, like a roundabout way to, I don't know. I just know that they, there could be two. It could make sense. It doesn't mean it's something weird going on because there's two time card machines. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> And I just wanted to point out that m most of the shot in Durkin's garage is like this. It's, he's basically covering up the time card machine. And then you see a glimpse of it after he's done talking to on the phone call before it, um, before it fades into the other scene. And you can just, the way how I got the, the way how I got this thing set up, you can just see the images of the car from the yeah. next scene. And I, I think it's interesting that they seem to be similar i'm wondering if it's the same machine in each of the shots yeah and that's what i've uh, wanted to point out too and this is the final time we see the fine the last time we actually see the time card machine is when uh jack is uh limping limping and with the axe and he's uh, sees danny starts chasing after him and that's the last time we see this uh time card machine and as uh, my wife pointed out, they are they are very similar, and I did like a snap on all three of these. Yeah, although okay, like there's a little like something here, but I think that's in front of the machine. I don't think it's it's the same. It's there too. Lock mechanism. Oh, okay. On all these. Yeah. yeah, she's talking about this little circle over here, this little yeah. locking mechanism, which is similar to this one over here. And it's hard to tell, but there's also similar to this yeah, so they, one yeah, they, they look like in the all kitchen the area. Yeah, they look identical. And technically speaking, if we're talking about movie props, yeah, it could be a movie prop, all similar. Uh, but, but, but if it's a prop, then they're putting it there to be seen in the movie. And I don't know why that detail would be important. Well, <laughs> I... <laughs> Of some information that I found out about time card machines mm -hmm. um, during my little uh, search on them I found out that the time card machine and this one in general is a one from the 1930s or it's the early 1900s uh, time card machine this is a one that has a IBM logo on it and it seems that the IBM company before they actually made computers, they were making time card machines. Mm 
nice and big IBM. <laughs> <laughs> and a lot of people, this is for many years to have pointed out that hell from 2001 is similar to IBM in the name set. It's like one letter off on, mm -hmm. on the initials. Mm -hmm. And there's like comparisons to it. But the machine itself, backtrack over here for a second. These machines itself, I think look kind of similar to, <laughs> and I know my wife is thinking it's a reach, but it's similar, <laughs> similar to the spacecraft. <laughs> In 2001 and right there no. <laughs> so silly <laughs> but okay I'm just I don't know why but this is my hunch how it feels it just it feels like a uh, maybe Easter egg uh, or maybe uh, the spaceship is looking over in the shot in the overlook mm -hmm. the hell is looking in on them Hell could be looking in on them too. Um, anyway, like I said, this is going to be a short video, and I just wanted to know what you guys think about this. Uh, well, I thought if you're looking at the personality angle, it could be, and I was kind of joking, but I, but what, what the heck? It could be that the personalities are clacking in and clacking out. Yeah, that could be. <laughs> That's about as dumb as <laughs> comparing it to the spaceship. So, <laughs> who knows? Well, anyway, um, this is Richard Stashy from Tinker Tales. And me. And I do want to wish everybody a happy new year. Yep. <laughs> and um, hopefully 2024 is going to be very explosive. and Not expl explosive. <laughs> Please don't say explosive. <laughs> Exciting. Exciting, fun, fun, fortuitous, <laughs> crazier than two, 2020. <laughs> <Don't say crazy. laughs> anyway, thanks a lot. Mm -hmm.